Hello there, um, Mike Pembu on here. I've uh, just been watching a video on uh, how to make electronic music by the guy who has the na the channel of the same name, how to make electronic music. I'll leave links in the description to his channel. He's, he specialises in uh, FL Studio. And I was looking at these, how to make lush pad sounds and that. But the particular part of, it, of his, of his uh, tutorial video was layering the sounds and adding sounds together so when you pre press one key on your keyboard it plays more than you know one sound that you've got loaded in now if you I've leave a link in the description to the video in in question if I can find it again <laughs> and he, he uses a three oscillator three times oscillator synthesizer a lot now in the video it shows you how to make this sound Okay, now all this second one here is 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 a clone of it, but I, I I've um, gone low low down the scale with that one. Here we go. Yep. Now this one is jar bass one key. These are just sounds that I've added together, and uh, you can use any and, and as many as you want. I think. There we go. Uh, yeah, this it's this Superwave professional plugin. <coughs> Excuse me. I was get guitar in my throat when I'm talking in these tutorials. Anyway, it's down here. Jar bass one key, one key. Now you can um, set these volume levels, pan levels, or whatever to whatever you want. I have this one here. It's the Magnus Choir, which is the Angels Choir Legato. Now these are just random things I've used you know this is bright strings which I've linked to the mixer there we go there we go <coughs> Just give me a minute oh, where are we going where are we going here let's um I'm getting a bit getting a bit mixed up here Now that's the one. See, it's still called three oscillate because I hadn't changed it. But that that channel there is linked to um, the bright strings, which is the big rock, which is the best small stone emulation you can get. It's, it's unbelievably good. Uh, the preset uh, sound is the Eminence Jar High Color, which is a pre factory preset. As you go go down to the list, it gives you all them. So I've naturally, I'm a Jar fan. I use that one. You can mess about with it. You can increase certain parameters, decrease certain parameters, do what you want to do. And the reverb is just a basic cathedral reverb. There. Okay. Now the beauty of this 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 um, way of making sounds is this this here. You, I'm going. Let's let's add it. This is what you do. Insert layer. Okay. So what you do is uh, you unselect it by right click and then you right click all of these or, or some of them or however many you've got loaded in you might have an arpeggio arpeggiated sequence you might have a pad you might have a, a light drum sequence you know you can uh, what this does is add them all together so when they're all highlighted like this you press set children okay now if you right click here to the piano roll you notice I've got some chords laid down now when it plays it it plays every single sound at the same time let's play it Now isn't that beautiful? Now that's just adding random sounds together using this layer plugin. All right. So if anybody is uh, doesn't know how to do that, then now you now you know. <laughs> I didn't before this. And it's thanks to how to make electronic music for um, you know Sean is out there. Anyway, uh, I hope this has helped somebody, and uh, see you in the next video.
Catch you later.